Welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is AI War Fleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 29. We just captured Murdoch. Let's go ahead and go to our base and ask it to build those Tier 2 Metal Harvesters now. Holding down Control and left-clicking the Tier 2 Metal Harvester. And then that'll just put them on these, these Metal Harvesters out here, even though we haven't completely eliminated all the enemy, enemy uh, installations from this system, so it won't have it done automatically. We can just build on the ones that are safe, which is, I guess, really just this one. Um, well, two of them. Two of four are, are fine. So that'll help with our metal income a little bit. See, we just dropped all these turrets, so our metal is ridiculous right now. Uh, we've got horrible, horrible metal and lots of, of energy. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over to, uh, I think we have a distribution node right here in Venumity. Yes, we do. We've got a distribution node that we captured when we took over Venumity. We can destroy that to get 600,000 to 800,000 metal for one AI progress, which isn't so bad of a deal. We really need that metal right now, so I'm going to go ahead and scrap that. And then that'll help us pump out these, uh, these turrets and all these things that are costing us the metal right now. Okay, we just dropped a bunch of turrets in Venumity, or in Murdoch, excuse me, and uh, they are in the process of being built. That's where our metal is going right now. So now that we have the metal, it'll just pump it into there real quick, and then our huge negative metal income will, will dissipate. Okay, so we've scouted Zinglin and Kalel. Let's take a look. Is there a tachyon beam? If we look at the path from Murdoch to Kalel, is there a tachyon there? No. No. And if I send my camera through Kalel, there's no tachyon around that gate either. And then the final destination is Bohawa, which also has no tachyon beam around it. There is one right here, but we can see if we do the Z over this tachyon beam that its range is too short. It won't actually be able to see uh, our ships. So we could go stealth jump directly from Murdoch to Bahala. Great. Okay. Okay, so now that we have scouts in Shalonkte and in uh, Chejapar, let's go to my ships, the normal view here, and let's look at Shalonkte. We were going to be going from Venumini to Chejapar. I'm going to pause it. So if we were to pass through there, Venumini does not have a tachyon around it. Does the Chejapar gate? It does. Okay, so we would want to destroy this tachyon sentinel so that when we send our assault transports through, which are cloaked, they won't be decloaked. All right, so that's an objective for us. Our first objective is Shalongde, and our second objective is Chejapar. Okay, objective three, well, it, okay, so we're going to do that, and then we'll, we'll hit uh, Umperfall, and then we'll come back around and strike here, okay, because I think we're going to want to go here first, actually. Uh, if we look into Chejapar, okay, from Shalonkte, you see there is a Tachyon here, and it's under a double shield with an ion cannon right there, so there's a big fortification over the gate for Shalonkte, and then we will need to go to Umperfall, and Umperfall is also heavily shielded with four force fields, goodness, and... Let's see, is there a tachyon here? There is a tachyon here, all right? So yeah, we need to bring our fleet to Chejapar and take out both of those installations there. So let's just glance into Chejapar. Is there an eye? That's the main thing I want to watch out for is, is there an eye? No, there's not, okay? So there's some nasty turrets there, but there's no eye, okay? Is there an eye in Shalonkti? No, there's not. The Spire Archive, yes. It's this thing that looks like a couple of lips. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the Spire Archive uh, produces 80 AI progress if destroyed. So you must make sure that's not destroyed because that's a ridiculous amount. That's, that would double our AI progress if it was destroyed. These powerful science vessels can be found nearby or on the AI homeworlds. Capturing them will provide plus five science, per, uh, plus five per second knowledge income, up to a cap of triple the normal amount. So that's 9,000 science if we captured Shalongte. There is a missile silo right next to it, though. Oh, dear. Look at that. See, there's a missile silo directly next to the Spire post, to the Spire archive. So if we were to capture this system, then within 15 minutes, a nuclear missile would appear 
right next to it. <laughs> you see, that's a formula for disaster. Okay, we can't capture Shalakti. That's not a good idea. Okay, if we were to capture this spire archive, this thing will eventually spawn a nuclear missile right next to it and destroy it, which will increase the AI progress by 80. Okay, that is not worth it. Okay, so we're going to skip that. We're not going to do that. So we're not going to capture any more systems. What we should do, though, is rally our fleet in Venumity at this point. All right, we've, have we destroyed this core shield guard post? Yes, we have. The one in Palaya is finally destroyed. So now if we look at the detected uh, core shield generators, there we are, they're gone. We killed them all. They're all destroyed. If we go to our stats and go to our objectives, look. Primary objectives sur survive and destroy those bases. No more warning that we can't do that okay and the scouting is also complete okay so we're ready to go we're ready to go all of our fleet is now in the home world and we're just going to wait for these remaining ships to be punched out here but since we have 10,000 science still and we're ready to do the end game actions here let's go ahead and unlock our tier two three and four bombers as well so that's where we're going to go ahead and end this video while we reinforce the fleet with the remainder of those ships there once they're all built, then we'll load up our assault transports and move on to the left side of the galaxy where we will push forwards and prepare to attack the enemy homeworld of Uberfall. Okay? So again, you're watching Tameron's Tactics. My name is Nuck Tameron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.